to make a little review about Maps.me. It's a free navigation app that you can get from the Play Store and also from the Google Market. Uh, I mean the mobile, mobile one, mobile market. And uh, yeah, we are here in a beautiful environment. Uh, I'm gonna get uh, the P9, no the P8, sorry, the P8 Lite. And I will get it from uh, a lady and she's waiting right now for me and I must be a little bit fast. But uh, here it is and I just want to show you a little bit how the Nafi works. And we're gonna go for a little ride. Okay, so there I am. I can put you a little bit more like this so you kind of see and drive with me. So there we go. Um, I think you can also buy it, I'm not sure. And then you get more voices and I'm not even sure what, what you all get. But uh, for navigation, standard navigation, I started out way back with TomTom. Tom. I remember on my first smartphone, the SPV, the SPV 2005, the C600. I had the Navi, my first Navi on that device. And it was TomTom. Tom. Okay. And it was TomTom uh, Tom for smartphones. Really handy at that time. So it could connect to this uh, to these uh, satellites. It took time before it, it had to warm up. At the time, if you would turn on your GPS, it should first warm up. It would not immediately find the satellites. So that was also something. And it had to show to the open air. You had to put it behind the glass of your car. GPS systems that we have now in our phones are way better, way better. I still have a, a Ricalina, I think it's called, Ricaline, Ricaline, Ricaline. Um, GPS, external. I remember buying that thing for a lot of money, eh? I still have it, it still works. was trying to connect it uh, to an uh, iPhone, to the iPhone 3G, or what was it? Was it the iPhone 3 or to the iPad, the iPad 1, but it was not working. iPad uh, Bluetooth is not so uh, advanced, I think. It's only for audio. So yeah, the Maps Me is, is very stable. It's running on uh, Lineage OS at this moment. I also made a video today. I also installed the video editor. This is uh, the S5. So we're running Lineage OS 14.1, that is Android 7.12 on this device. Uh, we flash the bug mod on top of it for the look and feels and of course the apps uh, the important apps that we that we standard want in this in this in this in this room such as a firewall really important you know no doubt and I also find that the uh, battery life of the phone is way better now. Since I disabled all these things in, uh, in the privacy guard, also uh, apps that, that start at boot, turn, turn, turn them off, you know. They don't have to start at boot. For what? It's only using memory of the phone. And that's why these phones have so much memory so much power that is to let all the apps uh, be able to to do whatever they have to do but you don't have to agree with that it's still your device
by the way, for the people uh, wondering what car this is, this is a Toyota Celica from 1994. That we're driving is my uh, daily car. And really, trust me, I had many cars before. But I really love this car. I really do. This car is a lot of fun to drive. And you never see a second one on the road. Never. Maybe once in, a, once in the three months, I see another one of my car driving. So this is very exclusive car. This is very exclusive car. Okay, it's also very handy, the map, uh, you can see exactly where you have to drive. Here it's showing me that I must go to the left, uh, I mean right, the other left. <laughs> okay, though. did I bring my wallet? Yes, because otherwise I would have to go all the way back home, peeps. Okay, there we go. By the way, I think the S5 is a real nice phone. Eh? No, no dog. Still a very, very nice phone. Also the S4, I think. Even the S3. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. And turn right. Okay, okay, okay. I will turn right. So yeah, it's it's looking uh, very nice. I think you can also use it uh, for on your bike. I think on your motorbike. Here they split it up the road a bit. Turn right. Turn right here. Oh, there. Okay. Turn right. Hey, you must talk nicer to me, eh? You don't talk nice. You don't talk nice to me. Turn right. Probably because I didn't pay for the app. <laughs> when I pay for the app, that probably, probably it will it will give me a nicer voice. These guys are smart, eh? These guys of maps me. Turn right. In 300 meters upstream, then you Oh, okay, darling. <laughs> With your ugly voice. But hey, it doesn't matter if your voice is ugly. Hey, but how? how? Where, what must I do? Oh, I think I already arrived. Arrived. But it said I had to be there. Gosh. This is one big flat where these people are living. This is like, oh my gosh. Let me 
I'm just gonna put my car in front of the thing there. Nobody here. Okay, peeps. Um, let's go take a look at the phone. Oh, let me close the windows. Okay. And we arrived. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get uh, the phone and I'll be right back. Yo, look at where we are. This is some Groningen architecture. You see that? Nice, huh? These people live kinda nice. And how about that, that air bridge there? Amazing. It was a little nice walk for nothing because the woman lives all the way at that side and they closed the road here so I could not really get to there. So we're gonna continue. to drive the car backwards. So there we go. Okay, we can turn here. Whoops. Don't lie. You show me another road. You show me road where broken road is. Roadblock. Show me better road. Make new calculation. Also need to turn right and turn left. It's a good Navi, but she's not really friendly. There was another Navi a while ago. I, I got that one, but I cannot find it anymore. It was called BMW Navi. <clears throat> and there was also another one. Mercedes Navi. I made I made reviews uh, about these about these Navis as well. Turn left. Then you arrive. Turn left. Maybe you arrive. What, what, what kind of thing is that? I cannot turn left there. What are you saying? Turn left. Everything is closed there. Eh? Everything is bloody closed. Okay, but she says it's only 11 meters. So we're gonna go for another walk, okay? It's always better than... Uh, I'm gonna put my car here. I'm climbing the... The steer is really, really soft, not to hurt the car. 
Okay, so uh, second time around. Let's see what's crackalacking. These are the flats where we first were at the back and here somewhere at number 66 I got the phone. Alright, so now I just got a great idea. I got a great idea. I'm gonna show you Groningen from, from a high level waiting for the lift. Hello, sir. Can we uh, go up uh, all the way up? The only way is up, baby. So this is 3D. This is 3D video, is it? This is 3D, 3D lift. Okay, let's cut the crap. If this lift gets stuck, you must call this number, skylift.nl. And then you must say, I'm stuck in your bloody sky lift at number nine, at the ninth floor. And I only weighed 100 kilos. So we can go one more up. Let's go up. Wow. Look at that, man. We can go one more. Oh, that is closed. So. Let's just go here, and here we are at the 10th floor. Look at that. Welcome to Groningen. And we are very high. Hey, don't we know that little car there? I used to live at the 10th floor. This is the city of Groningen. And that is the city hotel, I think Apollo Hotel. See that? That's where we drove just now. Amazing view, and you see there, I see a wheel, so there is cameras, we can drive by and take a look, amazing. So I got the cam, or the phone, it's the Huawei, and it's, uh, it has a little crack, but I got it really cheap. Otherwise, I would not even buy it. We can also take the stairs. <clears throat> it's only down. It's no sweat effect. Let's just take the stairs. It's good for our health, right? This is the seat to take a, a little break. Let's go. Nice plans. So, it was nice. Let's get into the car. End conclusion. Is the Nafi any good? I think it's very good. <laughs> Only, of course, I don't know about all these uh, roads that are are, are, are kind of close because they are working on the road so we forgive maps me for that i think maps me is way to go thank you so much for this navigation i found the place and 
we have the Huai and of course we're gonna make a little review of it I also got and that is for Tudor I got the Galaxy uh, Advance Tudor she also had this one I thought let me buy it for you if you want it let me know because I already have one you know that so um, this is the Huawei. here it is the P8 light it has a little crack in the screen you see that but the price was also very low so it's it's just fine you see that Huawei. And I saw some ROMs, so I will root this thing 100%, 1000% I'm gonna root it. And uh, of course we're gonna do some things with it. And I had to have this phone in my library. Uh, you, you know when you go to school, you buy books, school books. This, these are my school books. This is the setup. We're gonna do that when I get home. So once again, thank you for driving with Puck. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Of course, we could. Hello. We could uh, drive a little bit more. I hope you can see anything. But uh, here we were. And there's a motorbike. Oh gosh. There's a car behind me. There we go. I'm gonna. Uh, hey! What did I say? I never see my car. What do we see here? Oh! I'm gonna put my car beside it and I'm gonna make a picture. Oh yeah! <laughs> Two Toyota Celicas together. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna turn this one off. Let's get out of the car. And here we are with uh, two Toyota Celicas a very uncommon thing to see you don't see them anymore at least not two beside each other and here they are a red one I also love that one you can see the difference uh, between mine and the other one I have 16 inch wheels and these are in fact Audi wheels so it's kind of a little bit higher you can see that this car is a little bit lower it's lower to the ground you see that but uh, these are the original wheels, 15 inch. And in fact, yeah, they are exactly the same. Lovely to see two of them. Amazing, beautiful. So let me make some pictures. You see, sometimes, sometimes when you drive wrong, you see beautiful things. You see beautiful things. Here's another one. This is a, yeah, what is this? This is a Fiat. I also love these cars, eh? but I love my car more because my car can take more, more luggage. I can, I can put one lady beside me and two at the back I can have four ladies in my car that little Fiat can only have one and she must also not be too big because otherwise the car hangs like this you know the driver must also not be big like me otherwise it hangs like this hmm? so let's take one more look at the cars do you see them? And one more look at the Toyota Celica. Nice car. Beautiful. So I hope that the owner of this car will see this video. And I'm sure he's gonna like it. Toyota, Toyota, Toyota Celica. Uh, people, they are friends. Eh? A Toyota Celica will never leave another Toyota Celica at the side of the road if there's a problem but then again these cars they never have problems these are very very good cars 
that's why I can still drive in 1994 a car like this. You know, um, I saw advertisement of Toyota and these were some some young boys who were buying a car, a Toyota, old Toyota of course. And then Toyota said uh, in the advertisement, your your um, your child or what was it your your grandchild will something like that drive a Toyota. This Toyota, your your kid will will still drive it. That's that's how it is. These cars they are strength. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit sad about Japan. Now that we're talking about Toyota, Toyota comes from Japan, Japan, you know? They make very good things, but there are so many lonely people in Japan. Really lonely. I think something should come for that, you know? These are so intelligent people. How, how can they be lonely? Because maybe they are too intelligent. When you are too intelligent, maybe you cannot make good contact with other people, you know? But then, of course, these people also, they, they should they should get help, don't you think? I, I found it really sad. I saw a, a documentary about about this and about nice Japan, Japanese people, you know? And they were so lonely, young people. And, and then they... I, I'm not gonna talk about this because this is not uh, nice to talk about. I don't want to depress nobody. But that is an important thing in life, not to be lonely. And there are many ways how, to get, how you can communicate. You can communicate over the internet, but over the internet is not real, eh? It's not real communication. The real communication is when you can touch each other, when you can, for instance, give a kick to each other, that is real. On the internet is not real. It's all fake. Facebook is also not real. With all good intentions of the people, it's, it's just not real. We're all trying to be nice and we're trying to make other people like us. What kind of life is that? You don't have to like like me. For what? I don't need your like. I mean, like, if I make a video and you give it a like, thumbs up for that, of course. But I mean, you don't have to like everything that I do because not everything that I do probably is maybe to be liked. Right? Not everybody is... Yeah. We should not start behaving like robots. We must stay ourselves. We must go out and do our own things. And do especially what we like to do in life. If everybody would do whatever they like to do or, or, or are good in to do, then, then in fact, you know, we would have more happy, uh, more happy people. It's sad that we don't have that we have so much people that are not happy and that in a world that, that, that is so beautiful look at this world man that we're living in how can you not be happy? how can you not be happy? okay maybe you are not happy because someone you loved went away I understand then you cannot be happy so these are the things that we must also take care of you know, of the people that are suffering. We should not let them suffer even more. We should find ways to make these people feel more like a human being. That is the most important thing in life. Because if not, then I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> and the people are looking at me there. <laughs> they are looking at me. They see me talking to myself. They are like, who, who is this guy talking to? Nice car, by the way. 
lovely car, Peugeot. Also sort of sport car. I saw them looking at me. I was talking to you guys and girls, whoever is watching this video. So there we are. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today? We are in Groningen and we're finding our way. And we're driving in my old car. And we're surfing away to the stars. If you wanna feel good, just drive with me. Listen to the wind and feel so free. Don't worry about a thing, cause everything's alright. As long as you and me have a nice drive. <laughs> I should watch my speed because I don't want that the police get pissed off with me today. I'm walking on the street and I'm feeling so good. I need to wash my car, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I first want to play with my uh, with my Hawaii. I first want to play with my uh, with my Hawaii P8 Lite. I want to uh, I want to root it. And I don't hope that I'm gonna break it. And Tudor is pissed off that I got the phone. Tudor said, scrap phone, crap, crap. But I also got you a phone, Tudor. I got you the Galaxy Advance. So you can go play with it. It's still a nice phone. I'm not sure if it's the same model that I have, but I think so. It sure looks the same. So that is for my boy Tudor, my Romania son. Driving on the road and I'm feeling so fine. Driving in my car, I ain't on the line. Don't you worry about a thing, it's gonna be alright When we travel on the road tonight La 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 da dee da 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 La 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 You see the city line of Groningen? Nice, eh? Let me clean the windows a little bit for you. I must wash my car, I know. I had I, I had my car parked under this tree and, and these seeds are already growing on my car. It's unbelievable. Driving in my car and I'm feeling so fine Driving on the road Cause the road is all mine Surfing in my little Little green car Looking at the girls That I'm passing by And I say hello, hello you're looking oh so nice You have a face like a princess Do you want to be mine? I can't rhyme man My rhyming sucks Somebody should write me some good songs I'm 
driving through the city of Groningen and even though the sun is going down the city life lights are on the ground I can better not sing Hey, you are not in Germany, huh? Don't think you can drive here so hard, huh? This is Groningen. Here you drive 70. You... Deutsch Freud. That means you German friend. We don't want you guys to drive so fast here in the Netherlands. This is warning I give you, huh? This is not Germany. Here you drive car, 70. You don't race. Yes, I'm talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you. You drive calm. You don't behave like peak. Otherwise, I get really, really pissed. Huh? Then I must arrest you. If you drive too fast in my city, huh? I don't like. And you come to Groningen and you drive nice. You don't hurt my Groningen people by driving like idiot. Or I will arrest you. I'm driving in my car and I'm feeling so fine. Okay, there we are. We are in the... Pizza. I don't eat pizza. I never eat pizza. I think pizza is is, is is the most simplest thing to eat. No offense to nobody there. I know, you know, my Italian friends, pizza. These guys, they make good pizza. But I mean like these pizzas, you know, pizza. Pizza is not food, man. It's not food. I used to make pizza at Lindy's <laughs> in Suriname. Lindy's fast food shop. I was at that time, I think 16 years old, and I was working for an American lady. Her name was Carrie, and she was the wife of Foster Ford. And Foster Ford, that was an American, um, American helicopter pilot that, in fact, uh, in Suriname. Uh, was running the Paramaribo Mining Company. He had the Ux 500D for whoever knows what that is. The Ux 500D, that is a white uh, helicopter, that around a very powerful helicopter. Uh, it can take up to five people, I think. It has two seats in the front and you can also sit at the back. It's real, real, real nice. And he had the Cessna 206 and he was uh, working for the Paramaribo Mining Company. So um, at a certain point, I, I, he had a girlfriend, his, his girlfriend name was Connie and she had a fast food shop and I also worked for Connie. Unfortunately, uh, Foster Ford, he, um, he crashed in very bad weather. And you know, he crashed many times in war in Vietnam. He crashed three times. He always made it. I don't know what happened on that Sunday. They were in the in the jungle and they had some prisoners on board. There were weapons on board. I don't know what happened. The, the weather was really bad. And one of the pilots that was that day as well uh, on the same trajet, trajet, in fact, they flew with the helicopter and with the Cessna to the jungle to find some prisoners uh, that escaped. And then they found these prisoners and these prisoners had to be brought to the city. And that Sunday they went to go get these prisoners. And we had uh, Major Fernandez was on board. That was a, a major from uh, our uh, army in Suriname. 
and these two prisoners and foster fort and i don't know what happened they came into bad weather and they crashed some kilometers from the border of british guyana so in fact they had to fly a route that was from um, if this is the map from Suriname they had to go here and they were here and they came all the way here so something happened between here and here maybe wind I don't know so that's how I lost my friend Foster until the day of today I miss him because he was the first one the first one of all, all the pilots uh, on, on, on the airport, Sorgen Hope, that let me taxi. I was very proud that day. Um, the, the president of, of Suriname uh, was opening the, air, the, the hangar, the hangar, uh, the military hangar of, uh, of Sorgen Hope. And uh, the Paramaribo Mining Company also was part became part of that uh, of the militaries and uh, I'm, I'm thinking of something suddenly suddenly certain things they kind of fit in each other but i don't want to talk about that um how can i say it but in fact, it doesn't matter. It became part of, of the militaries as well. And, and that day was the opening of the hangar. And I get to taxi, you know, in, in the left seat, the captain's seat. I taxied the, the Cessna 206 from all the way uh, at the front of the platform to to wherever the the action was, where everybody was, and television. And I was like 16 or 17 years old. And I taxied the, the, the Cessna 206, Foster was sitting beside me and he made me taxi it. And uh, at a certain moment we stopped the plane and then I started the plane again. I, I was like, clear, you know, and then all cams on me. I was on TV at that time. I was, I made, I, yeah, I was kind of proud of that. I think it was really nice because I loved planes, you know. So that was the first time that I taxied a real plane started it and then after that we took the helicopter and give the show i was also together with foster foster was flying the helicopter of course and i was sitting there beside him and we're giving a show doing crazy things and showing off the helicopter yeah so that was the story of of foster ford of pizza we spoke about pizza you see sometimes you talk about something and then you get into a total different thing. I always have it. So anyway, I'm going inside. I want to thank you for driving with Puck and getting the Huawei phone. And in my next video, of course, we're gonna see what we can do with this nice little phone. Until then.